You seem uneasy since I mentioned your brother's name. Does it bother you to talk about him? Talking about him doesn't bother me. Being compared to him. How do I look? I'm like teacher of the year. That makes me uncomfortable. Everybody thinks he's perfect. You know Representative Hansen? We wanted to talk to you about the office I'm leaving behind. What about it? Pastor Jack and our state rep have asked me to run for office. This could change a lot for us. Prayers have been answered, Stephen. You got your brother back. How long has he been gone? Three years. Why is that such bad news? I never knew one person that wasn't a little nervous about leaving here. Are you visiting? No, no, I'm back. You look thin. Have you been dieting? Yeah, it's, it's something like that. Don't you want to see him? Or at least find out what happened to him after all this time? Help me! Honestly? No. Listen, Dave, I don't know how I'm feeling. You didn't exactly leave on the best of terms. You put mom and dad through a lot. We're not celebrating how much damage he caused. But he'll do it all again. You're acting like nothing has happened. He's my son. And let's not forget, he's also your brother. Look, I'm trying here. You think all this is easy? You ever study Cain and Abel? Are you suggesting I might try to kill my own brother? You think he might try to kill me? Brothers Keeper. There is no waiting, only listening.